What's up everybody? It's Alex over at Boost Controlled Performance. And today we're gonna to talk about how to use your AccuTech Bluetooth programming kit for your Subaru. So this is gonna cover any CAN based Subaru. So 08 NUP STI, 08 NUP WRX. There's gonna be a few small differences between the platforms, but they're all gonna work pretty much the same. So let's go ahead and take a look. We're gonna open up our programming kit. You're gonna find a few different items in here. This is our Bluetooth module. So this is the part that's gonna plug into your OBD port. And it's got a little spot for a USB cable on it. Now, I do wanna point out, this has the ability to flash the car with just your phone. So your phone can connect to this and you can flash it. There is an extra license fee that you have to pay for with that. Um, I find that most of my clients don't mind using a laptop and the purpose of this video is to show you how to do it with the laptop. So you got a USB cable in here. We all know what the USB cable is for. There's a card in here. You can scan this QR code and you can download the app. You can also download the app from the app store. You're gonna see my fancy business card in here. This one just has the generic one, but it'll have my contact information in it. Lastly, you've got your USB key. So this USB key, I've already assigned this key to you if you've received a kit from me. If you've bought your kit from someone online, another retailer, they might not have assigned this, this key to you. And in the, in the rare event that this key is not assigned and you got it from me, simply reach out to me and we can fix that. So we're gonna use this key, we're gonna plug it into our computer and we're gonna open up a program and then we're gonna be able to inspect the ECU ID and I'm gonna need that from you in order to send you a tune if you're doing remote tuning. Um, if, I'm, if I'm tuning your car in the shop, that step isn't going to be necessary because I'm gonna do it all right here, like I am on the dyno right now. See, woohoo. We are on the rollers right now. <clears throat> um, but yeah, the idea is you can plug into your computer, you can tell me what ECU ID you have, and then I can make you a proper tune for that. So let's go ahead and get the laptop fired up and I'll show you what to do next. So we've got our laptop opened up and I wanted to just point out, um, if you have a laptop that only has one USB port, you will need to have this key plugged in while you also have a USB cable plugged into your dongle. So you will need multiple USB ports. Um, a USB hub, it's very easy to get one. You can get them at Best Buy, you can get them on Amazon. I use the Anchor one, I like it. I have it Velcroed to the back of my screen here to kind of hold it in place. Um, just figured I'd share that. So let's say first scenario is for some reason you did not have your key registered. So that would mean when you try to open up Pro ECU, it says that the key's registered. I'll actually show you what that looks like right now. Um, I plug this in, I try to open up Pro ECU, it'll say, you do not have authorization to run this application. That means your key's not registered. So you're gonna have a, to download another program called Ecutech App Downloader. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. Very simple. It just simply tells you your dongle ID, in your registration code. I'll need those two items to register the dongle to you. And once I do that, then you'll be able to open up the software. Okay. So we've got our Bluetooth dongle here. We've got our USB cable plugged into it. We're gonna go ahead and plug that down into the US. I'm sorry, not the USB. We're gonna plug that into the OBD port. Now keep in mind every car, it's gonna be a little bit different, but most of them are just right down there. So we're gonna go ahead we're gonna plug this cable in. We've got our cable plugged in. We've got our dongle plugged in. Let's open up Pro ECU. It's telling us that we don't have any more flash points on that dongle, that's okay. It's asking us to update the software. I suggest doing it, but I'm not going to right now. We are going to turn the key to the on position. So you want all your gauges to be lit up. We're in the on position. Now I want you to go to tools and detect vehicle. So right now it's detecting our vehicle. 
it did recognize it as a Subaru, Subaru petrol can vehicle. So we've got all these different options down here. We're gonna to go to program engine ECU. Okay, so now we're at the program ECU screen. And the first step is we're actually not gonna program the ECU. We're just gonna enter utility mode. And the purpose of entering utility mode is it allows us to read the ECU and it'll allow us to see what the ECU version is. So I want you to go ahead and make sure that your key is still on, which it is. And then we're gonna click enter utility mode. Perfect. So now I can see my ECU version and I can see my compatible ROM files. What I'm gonna need from you is I'm gonna need you to send me a screenshot of this. You can save your screenshot to a file by clicking that with EcuTech, or you can just do a screen grab and you can send this to me. Once I have this ECU type, I can build your file. So now when you're ready to flash the car, I will have sent you a map. You're gonna make sure that you have the correct map loaded. You go to open custom ROM file. You're gonna select the location wherever that map is at. You're gonna go back into utility mode. Once it successfully goes into utility mode, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna program the ECU. Now this ECU was recently written by me and I only made a very minor change. So as you can see, it's going very fast over here. Your first flash will take a couple minutes. Programming has been completed. We're all good there. We're gonna hit okay. We're gonna close this and now we're good to start the car. Okay, so now you're ready to take a data log. We're gonna go over to File, Open Custom ROM, and you're gonna go to the location that your custom ROM file's at. So now I've got the ROM file open. You're not gonna have access to the maps here. That's only a tuning feature. So you're gonna look at Live Data. Live Data is gonna give you a default list here. Now, I always recommend that people create a favorite list for example, if this is a flex fuel car, we're gonna to wanna to look at some more things than that are on the default list. So you actually have to go to your all parameters list and you have to find these parameters that I want you to log. In this case, let's use flex fuel ignition advance as an example. What you're gonna do is you're gonna right click that and you're gonna to go to add to favorites. This one's already been added, that's why it says delete. Once you add all the things that I need you to look at and you add them to your favorites, all you have to do to add them to your log every time is to click right here, and if you leave your mouse in the same spot, you can just click right through them, and it adds them very easily. Then, very simply, you go to Map Access. It'll give you a live, live readout of what's happening, and then you're gonna go to Log to File. That's gonna start your data log. That's really all you need to do. And then once you're done with the log, you're gonna press Log to File again, stop. It'll save it to your EcuTech data log folder and that's really about it. You hit map access again to disconnect from the vehicle and then you can send me over your data log. It's a very straightforward process and EcuTech is a very powerful tool. So I hope that's helpful. If you guys have any more questions leave them in the comments and look forward to working with you on your EcuTech eTune for your Subaru. Thanks for watching.